More than 50,000 showgirls have rolled up for the opening day of this year's Royal Adelaide Show. It's been a long time between drinks and the Beer and Barbecue Fest is set to be a sizzler. The next season's AFL gather round in Adelaide is close to a sellout. Back home dry skies are greeting festival goers as Oz Asia officially opens in the city tonight. It's the event that brings to life Adelaide City during the winter months and now the much loved Illuminate Festival is back bigger and better than before. The Heaps Good Guide, celebrating and supporting our great city. Yes, Tom and Callum's heaps good guide to find out what's going on this weekend in our great state of South Australia. Shall we just jump straight into it? Let's do it. Callum, our first event is none other than the Beachport Crayfish Festival. It's back this year. The Crayfish Festival celebrates the town of Beachport and their most important crustacean, the Southern Rock Lobster. It was a rock lobster! Now, did you know last year, apparently, they ran out of crayfish? Right. So they've gone ahead and ordered double the amount of crayfish. Adelaide, there's going to be a cray for everyone. Yeah, wow. So all the boats are out. You get to see it in action. This is pretty cool, Tom. And besides from that, they do have heaps of selection on beer, wine, and then, of course, live music, different types of entertainment. It's a day for the family, for sure. That's it. They'll have a tug-of-war challenge, crayfish cooking demonstrations, and plenty more on the day as well. Get on, get on down to Beachport for their Crayfish Festival on the 2nd of March from 10am to 10pm. Tom, we're having a look at the Adelaide Riders Week, which is going from the 2nd to the 7th of March. Now, this is Australia's largest free literary festival. Wow, really? Okay, I know what's happening in the city centre, Pioneer Women's Memorial Garden on King William Street. Yep, exactly right. Now, you could be into any sort of literature for this, and it brings together all different readers and writers, and they just share ideas in a garden setting, like you said, in Adelaide's city centre. But there are some big names in writing going to be there, doing talks, uh, almost like lectures. If you love your books, head on down to that. Amazing. Stay tuned for the Writers Week. (laughs) Callum, on the 2nd of March, we have the Ocean Film Festival World Tour happening here in Adelaide. Now, this amazing festival has toured places like Italy, Spain, New Zealand, Mexico, Brazil, the US and the UK. And now they are here in Australia coming past Adelaide. Well, I'm pretty excited for this one, Tom. It's got all these accolades for going around the world and for good reason because there's so many different movies that are international on this bill. So if you're having a look at it, you got one from Italy, which looks cool, The Whale Song, looking at the communication of whales. But Tom, the Aussie big hitter that I feel like everyone will be waiting for is called Ice Man. Maiden, and it's okay. a documentary about the first woman, Lisa Blair, who sailed across Antarctica by herself. Amazing. If you're quite the water baby, this is over two hours of the most inspirational, educational, and entertaining films, all from independent filmmakers all around the world. One not to miss out on if you love the ocean and want to keep our oceans clean. <laughs> Jeez, Tom, there's a lot going on in our great state, but there's a good way to organise yourself and pick what you want to see. That's it. We can't get to everything, but The Post can. Find The Post on your socials or Google The Post SA.